the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Peng. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Wait. Show. Wow, we're <laughs> in we're 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 It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. What's up? I'm Scott. And I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill, Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle Show. Show. Um, it's more like the we start whenever we want now show. Cause, yeah. Because here we are. We get to... In the green room, we get to be whoever we want to be. Ooh, wow. Get it? Because we're in the B studio, can, can green you, room wait, can area. Can I say, is there a logo? That, yeah, yeah, right, right there. there. Behind, behind Scott. All right, so here's the thing. We're not in a cubicle because we get yelled at too much out in the office, so we had to move to the dungeon, um, which is really the green room where like celebrities come and they sit and eat drinks and stuff and food while they're waiting to go on to the radio they stations. They eat their drinks. But we call it the dungeon, and it takes us a few minutes to get here and get <laughs> set up, um, so that's why the show is a little past 1030. But we try to go on as close to 1030 as we can. We got... So far, we haven't been later than 10.35. Yeah, so. not bad. Um, we got a decent amount to get to. On a slow news day, we came up with a quite the show for you. Donald Trump informs us why he always attacks the media. Well, not really him informing us, but we find out why he does. How old is too old to live at home with your rents? This case just happened up in Syracuse about uh, a dude going to court against his parents at his and parents it, sued him to get him out of the house because he wouldn't leave. We'll give you the full story in a few <laughs> minutes. Fortnite made a major mistake in their game, man. It benefited people and hurt people a lot, man. Fortnite, dude. Uh, foods that celebrities hate. Kevin Federline back in the news because who cares about him? But when you got nothing to talk about, you care about him. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. And then but... uh, it's Woke Wednesday, so we're going to tell you why you need to stay woke. But my guy. Yo. <clears throat> Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Sorry, okay. I had to put my drink down. No, that's all good, guy. Um, let's get a roll in here with, uh, before we, I'm going to get to Fortnite right after we touch on this young Donald. D-Dot? Yeah. D-Dot Trump? Yeah, what happened Okay. DT? So this is actually from an interview that he gave in 2016. I don't know why this woman uh, waited so long to release this information. Maybe because it's sort of common sense. Um, but Leslie Stahl from 60 Minutes, apparently when he uh, sat down, Excuse me. Did she just release it, or is it now just making it just getting noticed? Well, she's she's kind of I don't. I Did she put don't it know. out back then, and now it's just getting no? Because it was something he said like off the record to her. Well, not not necessarily off the record, but it was like they were doing an interview like during the 2016 election cycle, and he before it started, she was like, "Yo, why, why do you do this?" Like he was already going off on the media even before the interview. And she was like, "Why do you do this? Like it's getting old. What's your deal?" And he said. Uh, that he, the reason he always attacks the media is, quote, when you write negative stories about me, no one will believe you. Mm. So he, like, preemptive strike on the media to kind of discredit their credibility, take that away from them, which I don't, I don't think is really working. No, it's definitely not working that well for him. (laughs) Listen, Donald Trump, you came up with uh, an idea to here to try to manipulate the media, and you do manipulate the media, and you control news cycles 24-7 for the majority of the time. But you, like, trying to discredit the media doesn't help you out at all. I mean, it makes the media not look good, but... It, it doesn't make everybody <clears throat> not believe the media. You know what I mean? Because right. now it's either you're on the media side or you're on the president's side. And it's a freaking circus no matter where you oh are. Oh, my that's, God. That's the sad thing about and, it. And that all goes back to why I told you to stay woke like a couple months ago uh, is that ever since really the Trump administration has been going, there is no more circus because that is the circus. That's right. The circus dissipated from its concentrated form in Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey and became the general consciousness. We are in a state of circus. Yeah. We're in a tent right now with uh, elephants and tight walk tight rope walkers and Trapeze clowns. Artists. And, yes, that's what they're called. Um and c- clowns in little cars. <laughs> with little hands. With cozy coops. <laughs> oh man. Oh I I saw that. I heard that shot across the bow. Barred him up. Okay. Uh, let me bring up this Fortnite thing real quick because I know people are dying to know about this because you're on your phone. You fortnite in right now. Maybe you're you're clicking away on your other screen fortnite in it. That's true. Um, Whenever I play Fortnite, I also watch the Cubicle Show. Because that's the only way to Fortnite. Yeah. 
So. You've never really Fortnited if you didn't a cubicle show at the same time. I, I don't actually play Fortnite, but my brothers do. So I'm relatively familiar with it. Well, Fortnite accidentally released a storm tracking item. So this uh, the storm closes in on different areas in the map in each game. It's uh, it's shrinking to encourage players to attack one another. So to get people moving and not just keep building up their, their well, armor and their like, weapons and everything. The way this kind of game works is called Battle Royale. So you drop like a whole bunch of players into a big, huge map all at once. And your objective is to kill everyone else, be the last man standing. So in order to keep people from just like hiding in a corner of the map and the game from never ending, it, it slowly gets smaller and smaller as the storm, you know, constricts. Comes in. Right. So. Now, I guess, uh, so, you know, like, it, like everything Bill said here, I'm just trying to read ahead. And there's no news on whether it will return or not. They the were only tracker. testing this uh, tracking we, device. We didn't tell them actually what it was yet. Oh. I was telling you, I was explaining, like... Was, oh, I thought <clears> you said <throat> it. Okay, so the Storm Tracker. <laughs> That's it, right there. They, they released a device or an item that lets you know where the Storm... Because it'll it'll go in a particular direction, at least if it's similar to H1Z1, which is the Battle Royale game that I'm actually familiar with. Um, it'll So it won't, like, shrink towards the center all the time. It'll shrink in a particular direction. So the Storm Tracker would let people know where it was going to go. So you know how to so avoid you could, it. You could go like, right it. to the center of it, basically, and kind of hide out there until the end and probably increase your chances of being the last person standing. Yeah, because then you're going to build up. You can build up all your supplies and everything while you're avoiding yeah, it, and everybody's right. getting, like, you know, trouble from the storm and everything. And then you emerge when there's only a few people left, like, super powered up, and you're just like, that's my victory, dog. Then you bar them up. That's mine, doggy. With your buildings. You build things in Fortnite. Now, I'm... Okay. I don't like battle royale uh, games. I, I think they're super boring, and I'm I'm probably firing some shots at some people how watching. How dare you? <clears throat> because, uh, but you know, I can't. How come comments are showing up? For Yo, oh, there's there definitely go. an item to have, uh, so you could yeah. build a massive base and beat some. So, yeah, I figured bugs. Kyle's probably familiar with Fortnite. Yeah. So I uh, that's what I think. That's what they're trying to avoid, Kyle, is that being able to build. So did they actually like? Did they accidentally release this, or was yeah, it in it was like, testing? Accident. Yep. Okay. I think it was supposed to probably be from what I from what I gather. I didn't read the full article, but it sounds like it was like a beta version that was probably only supposed to go out to like you know select few right, group of testers. people and stuff. And uh, and it shipped. It got shipped it got, alive. Yeah. And people were like. What is this nonsense? Like, oh, my God. Although I think the hottest take on this is your, the, what you thought Fortnite was. You thought it was spelled K-N-I-G-H-T, yeah. like the Knight of the Fort. Yeah, I thought it was like... <laughs> where it's, it's N-I-T-E, like Nick and Knight. And I've seen, like, Fortnite, like, a lot of times now. But oh, for man. some reason, it just never clicked in my head that it's not, like, a knight in shining armor. Right? Aubrey would be disappointed with you. Damn. Aubrey yeah. Drake Graham. I'm sorry, Aubrey. Fortnite. Wow, don't get a ghostwriter to write bars at me. Oh, no! Yo! He's going to use that storm tracker Damn. to beat you. Yo, Woo. normal people, well, not, well, normal people in a sense, not everybody, but normal people, ghost people they don't want to talk to. Drake gets ghosts to write his bars. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was... I saw which. Yeah, I gotta give you credit for that one. I it was like, trying to put it. It together. was a good attempt. I was trying to pick something up and put it down. I picked things up and put them down. <laughs> I couldn't pick it up though. All right, so f uh, food celebrities hate. Right. That is the next order of business on the docket. Pretty much, this is just a straight list for your own personal amusement. Oh, uh, see if the kind of foods that you hate line up with the kind of foods that celebrities hate, or maybe some celebrity that you hate hates a food that you love, and that gives you a justification for hating them even more. Which is, you know, what we try to do here on the Cubicle Show. We love to spread hate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Leave oh, the hate, kidding. not love. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Be the hate you want to see in the world. Haters gonna hate, and we're gonna encourage them. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> oh, so it's uh, Tom Brady hates strawberries. Jimmy Fallon hates mayonnaise. Um, actually, some of these are. There are some cool associations I like to make. Um, Michelle Obama hates beets, which I think is funny because of her vegetable campaign. Mm -hmm. Martha Stewart hates truffle oil, which is like the Does most... Does she hate beets, like, by drag? No. B-E-E-T-S, like Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica style. Okay. Uh, Martha Stewart hates truffle oil, which is like the most bougie thing on this list to hate. And so, of course, Martha Stewart would hate that. Gordon Ramsay, a chef with the pinnacle of taste, hates pineapple pizza. And I say, yeah. good on him. He's always done that because I remember watching an episode a long time ago... And, like, there, he was, like, trying pizza at a place, and they came out with, like, pineapple on a pizza. <laughs> and this dude 
He lost it. <laughs> he like threw stuff through the window. He flipped over the garbage can. No, freaking that's, threw the that's like an table over. Response. That was like damn, pineapple son. pizza is an abomination. Uh, Chrissy Teigen hates Nutella, um, which makes sense because Nutella is great, and I can't stand Chrissy Teigen. Uh, Khloe Kardashian doesn't like pork. I can make a I can make a joke in poor taste, but I won't. Kelly uh, Clarkson doesn't like Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are good if you cook them right. There's one way to cook them right, and then they become good. Um, Queen Elizabeth hates garlic, which is like garlic is a spice that really adds you know some why? flavor. Because she's, she's a freaking vampire, which explains why she's still alive. Holy crap. Damn, because she like refuses to step down as queen and pass it on to her son Charles. Like Charles at this rate is never gonna be king because she's a freaking vampire, which makes sense now. She doesn't like garlic. What do you put around to keep vampire away from your freaking house? Garlic. Oh my that was, god, dude, dude. That was a garlic barlic right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is God's plan. Bro, you, you're feeling this level just oh, went to 10. Oh, you just oh, did man. what I usually do, and you got on one. Man, if wow, we're out of the office, dude. can you imagine? Damn, that's another email right away. That you is. guys are too loud. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk. The Twitter fingers will be popping off. The librarians off. are complaining again. <laughs> Microsoft blah, blah, blah. Exchange. Oh, uh, don't worry. We're going to pretend we like the show, but we're going to complain anyways because we're a librarian. <laughs> da, 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 da. Cat blocks. <laughs> I was... I was, oh, he, oh, 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 dang, oh, I was gonna try and catch it, but he threw it too low. Yeah. I was just gonna say that she doesn't like garlic because the royal family's so bland, but you went in. Damn, you son. exposed her. Yo, exposed at its finest. <sighs> now you look good. Wow, hashtag Queen Elizabeth is over party. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get that trending on Twitter. Uh, I think that's all we need to say about the wow, list. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, um, so shout out to. Whoa, she just began the process to pass the throne. Really? And Time Wolf says, are you going to play Fortnite? Hey. I probably hey, you can come won't. over and talk. Hey, a visitor! Hey. Christy, did you come to join the cubicle show I or for some other important just purpose? I was through. Ah. Uh, no, okay. you can go hey, through anytime. Me, Listen, we don't care. Stay hi to the people, though. Hi! You this can is check Christy from the Fly Morning Rush. Look at my hair today. Oh, look at that. It is in a bow thing. I, I know. I was like, I gotta do my bow thing. <laughs> <laughs> you like my bow thing? It's your best bow thing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Y'all are my bow thing. Oh! Oh! oh look at those bars! Oh, that deserves a no. little laugh. My bow oh. Don't let Jake hear that. Yo, hit him with the... There we go. I think she is. I don't think she passed out. Is she bars. Matthias? Jackie? Yeah. If she did, she did it unnoticed like the Queen of England. Wow. Because she's a vampire. Wow, I did not <laughs> I know that. I'm going to keep Yo, bringing that up. Shout out to Genevieve for being like our like our fact checker. You know, like on the yeah, news, they true. got somebody in their ear and they're like, nope, that's what it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, shout out you, uh, Genevieve. They just began the process to pass on the throne. Got it. Um, What is this, Timo? Is that how you say Yeah, I, I would assume. Timo? Yo, what up, Timo? Um, I've played Fortnite a couple times, but I'm not, I don't really play video games, like, to be honest with you. Bill's more of the video game guy. I do, I, uh, but I don't play much PvP. I'm more of a single-player campaign fellow. Yeah, I, I like I, to immerse myself in the story. Mm. God of War. God of War. The new God of War is where it's at. Oh, my God of War. Damn. It's so good. Kevin Federline, man. He's <laughs> not good. <laughs> this, this story. Okay, it's not so much a story. It's just his lawyer claims that he deserves... Three times as much child support as he is currently getting from his ex-wife, or what? Britney Spears. Oh For the God. two children that he fathered with her, Britney's only two kids. They are two of his six children. He has six kids with three different women, two with each. Oh, that's so smart. So it's like this guy was just hopping around, knocking women up until he hit the lottery with Britney, who's worth like $215 million. Well, you know, the thing that bothers me is that there's so many even numbers there except his number of partners, which is odd, and that bothers mm. me. Does that just throw off your whole... It really does. Well, there's, uh, there's that three. Then the lawyer says that he deserves three times as much, and then there's also... Uh, he makes three thousand dollars a month. So there's your three threes for the um, the trifecta 
Okay. But yeah, three thousand dollars a month. That's thirty six thousand dollars a year. I seem like um, you could be fine with that. You could, but and he's also living out in California and so raising what? two kids. That don't mean anyone. Either. We're living in New York, and right? Like, but they have that whole weird stipulation about how oh, if you get accustomed to a certain lifestyle, you're entitled to money. Like you get money for free based on your your peak performance. Yeah, alimony and the culture and stuff. Yeah, which is stupid. I think. But I agree. I but, don't know how that law is here. Like for example, um, some of my family recently went through a divorce and everything and uh because she was with him for more than 10 years she was entitled to like a lot i don't i'm not gonna put out their business yeah and stuff but i know that there's certain rules <coughs> like time frame like like you could in some states you could be together for a year and you you're not like you don't get as much as somebody late. that's like 10 15 20 years into mm-hmm. a relationship and stuff but no i don't think that he deserves any more money than what he's getting Listen, Brittany's not responsible for raising those other four little kids. Yeah, I mean, they wouldn't be. It wouldn't. He wouldn't be legally entitled because of them. It's just I wanted to point that out because it shows that this kind of like a deadbeat and a scumbag. <laughs> and he's just like, you know, like if you're only making that much money being a DJ, then get like a real job. Like, not that being a DJ isn't a real job, but if you can't pay the bills yeah, with that, not, then I get another the job. Point. Yeah, right. Exactly. Um, and it's just like you know, his his main claim is that. <laughs> He, he's less of a name than he was in 2008 when this settlement was reached, and he's not as in demand. Of course. I don't think Kevin Federline was ever in demand or really a name other than his association with Britney Spears. Factory. And she's made, like, a bunch of money. She made bank off that, like, Vegas residency. So she, I think, has more money coming in now than she did when they got divorced, and he has less money. Mm-hmm. So that just tells me... Any money that comes after the divorce, that's hers. That's not... Yeah, he's not that, entitled to that at all. So, but I guess legally he may be, according to the lawyer. They nope. seem to think it's going to be an open and shut case. But what lawyer doesn't do that, right? Like, yeah. oh yeah, we'll get this, because yeah. they want your money. Until Britney lawyers <clears throat> up with lawyers that freaking are mad good and cost mad money, and they yeah. trump out your lawyer like it's nothing. Freaking, I remember watching The Fabulous Life of Britney Spears on VH1, and the narrator being like, she sends her personal assistant to Brazil to get a special blend of coffee every day. Damn. And so, you know. What an assistant. Yeah, so yesterday we brought up that story about the fake DJ, uh, Alicia Keys DJ, that was in Philadelphia going around um, going around talking to schools and the police are looking for this guy now. Well, I brought this up yesterday during the 5 o'clock mixtape with DJ Irock, who is actually Alicia Keys' DJ. I don't know if I still got the picture here, if I do. Oh, I think you replaced it with Fortnite. Oh, I don't, damn it. Okay, well, anyways, um, yeah, I brought up to Irock, and he's like, he didn't really know what to say about it, but he's like, well, maybe that's why Swizz was trying to call me last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he say that on air? Yeah. <laughs> Swizz beats Alicia Keys' husband, and also he's a, like a producer, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so DJ Irock and Swizz beats, like they've been friends since they were like eighteen years old. Like they were DJing together, and then they started making beats for Rough Riders way back in the day together. Like they've got like yes. a long history. Like this is like Irock's like family, like legitimate. Like, you know what I mean? People he's grew up with his whole entire life, and he's like, oh, so that's why he's probably hitting me up last. Week. I was like, most likely, like unless they weren't talking about something for a tour. Like that is probably so what's funny. going on. Like, I actually saw Irock this morning. He was still in the studio at five a.m. when I piece. came in. I walked in to put my head. I was like, oh, I see that you're busy because he was mixing something. And I was just like, you know, that's how he does. So uh, on occasion, that's happened like once a year. Yeah. He's probably getting ready for Memorial Day. Yeah, he again. was. Yep. He was getting he was getting ready and mixed the scent to um, some other market. Mm. Oh, Boston. <clears throat> he does stuff yeah. on like jamming down in Boston. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, with Pup Dog, who does uh, Weekend Top 30. Yeah, it's Pup Dog that does Weekend Top 30 on uh, Sunday mornings on Jam, mm-hmm. 7 o'clock. All right, so uh, why are we staying woke for this uh, this Wednesday? <clears throat> All right, so there's a new study that... <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so dumb. Please don't buy into this because it's embarrassing to even talk about it as though it might be a real thing. There's a new study that shows that if you take your shoes off before you walk into your house, it'll help you lose weight mm. because there are chemicals. This is extraordinarily vague. I was reading... This article about this, about what obesogens are, and they call them endocrine... Ah, shoot, I can't remember the uh, exact f- phrasing or um, acronym for it, but it's something that like, it, it alters your endocrine levels in your body. Basically, it messes with your hormones, these kind of chemicals, um, and they, they make your body produce more fat. So they call them obesogens, like carcinogens that cause cancer. Obesogens cause obesity. 
Um, and if you take your shoes off before you walk in your house, you track less of those in so you won't be as fat. And they also recommend taking other steps. Um, but like to not be overweight? Vacuuming more. Yeah. Vacuum. No, to, to avoid obesogens oh. so as not to be overweight. So vacuum your house more often. Avoid heating up food in plastic. Use fewer synthetic cleaning products and eat organic foods that haven't been um, exposed to pesticides. So the, the moral of the story here is everything makes you fat. All of this stuff. Everything makes you fat. Everything gives you cancer. You know, what yeah. What are we supposed to do? So here's the stay woke moment of it all, right? There's four Demi. tips. There's four, four tips you can <clears throat> you can use. When she says just a tip, tell her there's four. There's four of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> stay inside. Don't eat. Don't drink anything. Don't breathe. Okay. That's how you avoid exposure to all the things that are bad for you in the world. Never. What if I only file three out of those four? Um, well, then you're going to breathe in a lot of obesogens. Oh, sorry. The three, we came up with a formula where it was like, you follow, you take those four rules and you subtract one because you're going to die if you don't breathe. And then you reach the pinnacle of wokeness. Wow. Because in death, you truly become woke. You just got woke up. Yeah. Woo. Yo, I like how the mic light went off right above your head as you were... You like a little halo. Mm. So when the video's over, go ahead and run it back and check that out. My halo, halo, Beyonce. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then uh, what do we say this guy's name? Uh, Timo? Yeah, Timo, as far as I know. Is that? Let us know if you're still watching. Uh, let us know how to pronounce it. Uh, type it in so we know next time we see you on the live stream, we can uh, shout you out correctly. That uh, would be great. Um, okay, so we oh, oh, wait, here we go, huh? As a scientist, as Genevieve says, as a scientist, I will confirm that staying inside will not save you from the obesogen. Sorry, also, this study is silly. Mm. Have you seen, like, the actual study? Because it looks I really stupid. Are she an actual scientist? Like, yeah, I believe yeah? so. Oh, yeah. Shout out you. Um, I got some questions on how to mix some chemicals up. I'm trying to start a lab. You ever see the show Breaking Bad? Yeah. Are you, <laughs> are you, uh, I'm Captain not. Cook? I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, shout out Genevieve. We appreciate you tuning on in. Shout out Kyle for tuning on in. Shout out Time All for tuning in. tuning in today. We appreciate you guys' comments. And everybody who watched but didn't comment, comment next time so we'll like you more. Yeah, and we'll shout you out. That easy. And we're pretty good at remembering people that come around. Yeah, we know the regulars. All right, with that being said, you can catch us Monday through Thursday on the Jam 96.3 Facebook page at 10.30 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. One. Two. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Cubicle show. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, boy. You know, it's got a cubicle show. show. Yeah. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a cubicle show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we just got one boy.